Hey everybody, it's your girl Jackie O, aka Little Pumpkin Pie 05, and welcome back to my channel. So, what are your biggest health concerns when it comes to the products you use, makeup, cosmetics, and stuff like that? Mine would probably have to be antiperspirant. Now, I, unlike a lot of other women, I sweat very easy. Being in the type of industry that I'm in, hygiene is very, very important. Unfortunately for me, it's not a hygiene thing. It's not like I don't shower. It's not like I, I just smell really bad. Like I just. I get just like my mom, I get it from her. I sweat easy, I always have to wear an antiperspirant. Lately I had been coming across um, some type of like rumors and like articles about antiperspirants being linked to breast cancer. So I did my research on it. There's many different ways your body gets rid of toxins, uh, urinating, defecating, and sweating. Let me just explain to you guys the way antiperspirants work. Antiperspirants are different from deodorants. Deodorants just mask odor, whereas antiperspirants actually work to stop you from sweating. Now if you are putting an antiperspirant over them that contains chemicals like aluminum, aluminum chloride, aluminum chlorohydrate, and all of these excessive different chemicals that you don't want in your body anyways. What you're doing is basically not only are you stopping the sweat glands from releasing all of those toxins and impurities from your body, you're blocking that, you're taking those toxins and you're stuffing them back in. They're like, oh no, we're in here now, we can't go anywhere. And then all that aluminum is gonna be in your body. And what's the closest body part to your armpits? The tatas, right? There may not be any scientific evidence and the cancer research agencies don't back the claims up, but I wouldn't put it past them. I started looking at different ways to make my own deodorant and I found that many of the products that I needed, I actually like already had. So I went and bought some cornstarch. This is the Target brand, like $2, okay? Baking soda, what? three dollars really and i already had extra virgin coconut oil so it was like a win-win and for those of you guys out there that are like sweaters like i am know how expensive deodorant is and know how frequently you buy it okay all i did was i mixed one tablespoon of cornstarch and you want a little bit less of the baking soda. So for every one tablespoon, you're gonna maybe do three fourths of a tablespoon for baking soda. And then I would say like half of a spoonful to one full spoonful of coconut oil. You kind of want to play around with the proportions. Like it took me maybe like three tries to get it right. The first time it was like too oily. I put too much coconut oil. The second time it wasn't stopping me from sweating. I put too much cornstarch. The baking soda is what stops the odor. And you have to make sure that you put just enough baking soda not to cause rash because there is a rash warning. Might I also add, don't do this after you wax your armpits like I did. Good Lord have mercy. I'm just gonna say that. But ever since then, ever since then it's been fine. I haven't had any issues, but yeah, it was a little tender under there and it hurt. I would also recommend probably doing like a, a skin test. It doesn't hurt to make, make your little ratio, make your little mixing of it and try it like on the inside of your elbow. I keep it in cool temperatures in my bathroom so it looks like this and it almost kind of has the consistency of a deodorant like do you see how it doesn't run it looks pretty solid and then on my skin it just dissolves right in it's virtually pretty clear it smells really good it smells like coconut and you probably might smell like coconut which i don't really think is a bad thing it is not at all messy it's not nearly as messy as i thought it would be and it actually freaking works. It has been keeping me cool and dry. I go to school in Santa Monica. I'm by the beach all day. It's humid. It's been hot the past week. It's not the business and it actually works. I think that I've just officially given up on deodorant. Do a Google search on the proportion. See what works for other people, especially if you have sensitive skin because my skin's not sensitive. I'm kind of normal. What works for me may not work for you. I really encourage you guys to just get out there and just Google search natural deodorant using baking soda. Also, if you have have any allergies to baking soda or you just find that it just doesn't work for you and it just really is irritating you can actually use arrowroot powder instead of baking soda that's pretty much my testimonial for the homemade baking soda and cornstarch natural deodorant and of course I'm all team coconut oil because I just found another great way to use the stuff I've been using it for my hair for my skin now I get to use it for my armpits I hope that you guys found this video informational and helpful and I hope to see you guys soon bye Thank you.